Hello folks, hope you're all doing well. We are back with our What To Sew In February video. And as always, there's a little bit of housekeeping first. Please remember to check your frost zones, which are really, really important at this time of year before you sow any sorts of seeds. For example, where I am here, our last frost date is around about the first week in May, so we've got a long time yet before we can chuck anything that's delicate out there. It looks nice and sunny out there at the moment, but it's absolutely freezing. And what I'll do is I'll pop a little website down below in the description there, and you can go to that and you can find where you live and it'll tell you what the frost zones are. And that is a really, really useful. And it is so simple to use. It's a brilliant resource and even better, it's absolutely free. Anyway, back to what seeds we can sow. Quick mention, as you all know, I like to get my seeds from one supplier in particular, and that is DT Brown. A couple of reasons for that. One is they put the instructions on the packet, and believe you me, I need them. The second reason is they always send you these little plant tags, and I am terrible, absolutely terrible, for labelling the plants as to what they are, especially once they find their way up to the plot and they're out there in the wild. I lose track of what's what. So these are absolutely brilliant for keeping track of things and they also send me things like this which are little brochures of things you can buy the seed catalogs fab and it means i can go and look for stuff that i need to buy anyway under the seeds a few this month a few more than last month it's starting to ramp up it's getting busier and busier next month's going to be even busier i'm going to try and stick to these but i can also guarantee you 100 percent I will find some other seeds that I'm going to sow before the end of the month, but I'll mention them as and when that happens. Anyway, first up, broad beans. And this variety here is called Super Aqua Dulce. I had great success with these last year. I had absolutely loads of them. And this variety here, the Super Aqua Dulce, is really, really hardy. You can even plant them sort of October, November time and overwinter them, or you can start putting them out in February, March sort of time, and they'll go nice and strong. But they are absolutely brilliant. You get loads and loads of beans off them. They come highly recommended. Next up is aubergines i maybe should have been on these last month but you know i've kind of eked it out to this month so we're going to do some aubergines and these ones here are money maker f1 i tried aubergines last year and some rabbits came in at my plants which was a bit annoyed about so hopefully this year i'm going to have more success and these will go in the polytunnel once we've got them growing and speaking of which of the polytunnel we're going to get some sweet peppers on the go so last month you saw we got our chili peppers on the go and now at the start of this month we're going to do sweet peppers and this is a variety called king of the north which is very relevant for up here in scotland and using this variety here again once they're on the go they'll be finding their way into the polytunnel to be grown undercover where it's nice and toasty warm for them next up we've got a double header here and it's cauliflowers going to get some of our brassicas on the go and we've got two different varieties of brassica here two different varieties of cauliflower even this one is Clapton F1. That is a really good, yeah, bog standard cauliflower that everybody uses. Absolutely brilliant. And this one here is called Veronica F1. So we're going to give that a try this time for the first time. So follow along and see how we get on with that one. Next up, we're going to get some radishes on the go. And this is our DT Brown's Rainbow Blend. So they're going to come out all different colours. I'm really looking forward to give them a shot. And if anybody's a first time grower or just trying for the something new, radishes are absolutely brilliant as the first thing to grow because they grow really, really quickly. From sticking them in the ground to them actually growing and you're pulling something out, well, 10 to 12 weeks, if that, they are absolutely brilliant. So if this is your first time, give radishes a shot and you'll not be disappointed. Next up, we have got some pak choy. We'll be giving that a shot as well. So. It's about the right sort of time of year to be growing pak choy. It's not quite hot. It's still cold. Pak choy bolts very quickly if you grow it in the warm weather. Although, although it grows nice and quickly for you, it will bolt, it'll go to seed, and then that's it ruined. So now is a really, really good time of year to be growing some of those Asian greens like the pak choy. And they'll, they should, in theory, turn out really well. And last but not least, as well as all the fruit and vegetables and things that we do, we like to grow flowers as well because it's really important 
to attract those pollinators in and they'll come along and while they're there enjoying the flowers they'll pollinate all your fruit and vegetables as well so we're going to get some sweet peas on the go and this variety here is called Kupani if I'm pronouncing that right and that's a sort of mix of different colours and they look absolutely brilliant so we'll be getting them on the go and much like the you know, broad beans or, or normal peas, I'll, I'll grow these in the same way where I soak them overnight and then plant them on and stuff like that. But I'll do a separate video all about that at some point. So what I will do with all these different seeds is I'll put some links down below to these exact varieties and you can go off and have a look at them and see if you like them or not. If you wouldn't mind giving the channel a subscribe if you're not already. If you click the button down below, that is absolutely free. If you like what we've done here today, give us a thumbs up and please, please, please leave comments below. Let me know what you're growing and sowing at this time of year. I love seeing the different things that you're doing and I get all sorts of different ideas. So I'll mention some video in, the, in some videos later in the year. There's, there's already been a couple of comments about different types of chilies and different lettuce, lettuces. And I do read them and I do take notice and I've been off and bought some. So I'll do something about that at some point. But anyway, that's enough of me waffling on for today. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now, folks.